Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So, today, we're not sitting behind the desk. <laughs> um, we are now reporting from South Padre Island. We're at the top, or pretty close to the top, of Margaritaville, which is really a cool resort. Anyways, as you can see, what's going on behind me here, matter of fact, if you look over here, right around this area, that's Mega Bay. All right, and then right behind me here, that's Mechazilla, the chopsticks, <laughs> right, right there. So we were capturing some live footage just earlier. I'll, maybe I'll put some into this video, if not like a future video. Um, not much has been going on. I just want to give you a little bit of an update of what we've seen so far and the progression, or I should say maybe lack thereof. I don't know. Depends on how you look at it. So we know Ship 36 ended up blowing up and messing up Massey. And they weren't able to test the next ship, which would be 37. And 37, they ended up testing I believe it was July 31st. They did a single engine test fire and we covered it live. A lot of you guys were here with me, which was a very uneventful <laughs> test. They poured a ton of water, obviously. The amount of water that was poured out was just unbelievable. You could barely even see that the engine actually fired. It was like a like a candlestick, just tiny, tiny, tiny. He goes, oh yeah, I saw it. There was a little bit of glowing something in that deluge of just hundreds of thousands, millions of gallons of water. So anyways, that ended up going over without a hitch, which was good. And then the following day, the same type of process happened. And instead of testing one engine, they ended up testing six and everything was nominal, which is exactly what we want to see. No problems, no explosions. I mean, this was, I would say quite interesting, and the reason being is they were doing this testing where they would never tested before, literally right on the OLM. And to do that really takes some brass ones, if you think about it, because if they were to blow up the OLM, well, that would be a very bad thing and would set everything back months most likely, depends on how big the explosion was. Like with ship 36, I mean, that took out the entire ship and it did severely damage Massey. So going forward, I think all testing will be done back on Massey once they're, let's say they fix everything. I don't think they're gonna be doing this retrofitting that they did with the OLM again. I don't believe so, unless they absolutely need to. Um, it was interesting seeing them do it because they literally retrofitted like the quick connects and the lines and it, it was just jerry-rigged and I like it because it's, you know, that uh, napkin math that they do, right? It's like, well, if it blows up, how much of the <laughs> Mechazilla will actually be damaged by it? How many pounds of, it's just, it's just crazy, okay? So obviously they thought that it was going to be a risk well taken or a risk that was necessary and they took it and it ended up proving to be okay. And that's what we want. Once again, everything was nominal. Now going forward though, they said originally it was gonna be August 4th when this goes up, and that's one of the reasons why we are here, to cover that August 4th, and obviously that was pushed back, so it's not gonna happen. So will we be here during the next launch? I'm gonna say probably not. All right, we're gonna be here for a while, and if they move it forward, um, we might be here, we might stay a little bit longer. But the bottom line is, is what we're hearing down the grapevine is like August 14th, something like that, will be the magic day. But could it go forward and end up happening sooner? Yes, we've seen that happen before, but we've also seen them push things back. And it really depends on what is going on and how bad things are, right? How many things are they having to fix? And as of right now, everything has been really smooth. We saw the ship come off, move back over to the mega bay, as we can see right back here. Um, and everything was kind of copacetic. There was no problems. Going forward, they're gonna have to finalize the heat tiles and any other last minute preparations, check everything for any type of damage or any type of incidents that happened during the test firing, get everything ready to finally 
get moved back to Mechazilla to be stacked and ready to go. So when will it happen? We really don't know. So as of today, we're at August 4th. We will stay probably maybe a week. I don't know, we will see, we will see. And I'll be doing coverage from here. Now, moving into tomorrow, I'm going to be talking about, I'll probably do a video about reviewing the Mini. Um, real world review on the Mini because we got some new data. We did some just extensive testing yesterday and I wanna share it with you because it's really important for people that want to use the Mini, know what they're going to get, what are the just real positive points of the Mini and a few of the negatives that you have to be aware of when you're using it. And I'm gonna probably do that for you tomorrow. So watch for tomorrow's video. If you're not subscribed as of yet, definitely consider doing so. Click the notification button over here so when I go live, you'll be notified of it. Um, we're probably gonna do a bunch of like shorts while we're here, um, maybe some little two minute, three minute, five minute content. Maybe I'll throw some content together that doesn't have a front end and a back end. Today, we're definitely going to take a drive over there. If you guys don't know, even though it looks really close, and it kind of is if there was a bridge to get there we would be able to get there probably in like 10 minutes but the way the island is situated to actually get there you have you have to take a bridge all the way back to Brownsville and then wrap back around to come down that side think of it as like two peninsulas sticking out right you have to go all the way back to let's call it mainland right and then wrap back around to get back over there whereas if they just constructed a simple bridge now everyone from here will be able to go over there in like 10 minutes so who knows um there was some word that they have some type of shuttles going on elon musk does for transporting his people across the river let's call it um in between the two so i'm not sure of course i don't work for elon or spacex so i wouldn't get that type of transportation anyways so what we're going to do is we're going to jump in the truck, wrap all the way around. It's about an hour to actually get from here to there. Once again, like I said, only like 10 minutes maybe away. Um, it's about an hour to get back to mainland and then come back down. So we're going to do that today and get some more footage for you guys. Now, if you want to see any of those images that we capture or video, video you'll be able to see here on YouTube and all of the images I'll probably put on Instagram or possibly in our community here on the page. So once again, if you're subscribed, go to the community page, click on that, and you'll be able to see any type of snapshots or whatever we do when we are over there, getting some of those close-ups. So being that I'm gonna be here for about a week, if you have any questions specific to the location, specific to SpaceX, Starlink, Starship, whatever it is, put the questions down below in the comments and I will try to read through all of them and write back on a good majority of them as much as I can, obviously. So do that and we can have this kind of conversation back and forth. I will go live. We're always live on Fridays, but I might go live a few extra times when we're here anyways, right? Might as well. Maybe I'll go live on a balcony. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy this as always. If you have, throw the video thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, as I said before. Share the video and share the channel with your community, with your friends, on Facebook, on Reddit, wherever you frequent, wherever the social is that you absolutely adore. Don't forget also to click that notification button so when I do go live, you will be notified. And if you wanna give back to the channel, there's a little thank you button, click on that. Give a dollar or two if you like. If not, it's perfectly fine. Consider becoming a member of the channel. That would be even better. And, and, take a look at my merch. Go to jchristina.com forward slash shop. Once again, jchristina.com forward slash shop. See if there's something there that you like. Pick it up, once again help support me and my family. Many blessings to you and your family. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay connected, hopefully through SpaceX Starlink, and we'll see you in the next one.